Hi everyone, this is Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, this is Monday, May, what, 9th? Um, so I have a sales update for you guys. Um, but first, I wanted to wish all the moms a happy Mother's Day. I hope you all had a great day. I actually, for once, had a decent Mother's Day. <laughs> Usually, um, for some reason, holidays and our family do not go well together and usually everything gets messed up, especially if it's a holiday, um, you know, for me, like Mother's Day or my birthday or something like that. Usually it's just a disaster. But yesterday was good and my family actually like kind of thought outside the box a little bit, which is what I'm always asking them to do. My husband, my daughter, my son, they're all the type of people who they ask you what you want and they not only want to know what you want they want to know what store what aisle what shelf so nothing is ever a surprise which drives me crazy because i love to get like surprise presents you know i'm i'm always telling them i'm sending out all these packages every week and you know i never get like a surprise myself makes me nuts but they did good they um they went out and got me well my husband went to Dunkin Donuts and got me my breakfast sandwich that I asked for and we went out to dinner that night at California Pizza Kitchen which is my favorite so I can have my dumplings and my avocado egg rolls and my Kung Pao spaghetti which if I won the lottery I would eat Kung Pao spaghetti every day for the rest of my life I love it um, so they got me my Carrie Underwood CD that I wanted for Christmas and forgot to ask for so I got that and um, and then my husband and my daughter even got me candy. They got me Lindor chocolates, and they got me Ghirardelli squares. And they remembered that I like dark chocolate, so they did really well. And they even put everything in a gift bag with tissue paper, which is a revelation because usually they leave it in the plastic grocery bag they bought it in and throw it on my seat on the couch. <laughs> And no one's in the room when I'm even opening it. It's so sad. But they got it right this year. And then my son really floored me because we picked him up from work. And these things weren't a plastic grocery bag, but he did just come from work. He got me turtles. And he got me, excuse my messy table here, he got me a dozen roses. So I had a very nice day. It was very nice to see them kind of make more of an effort than they have in the past. I don't ask for much. I'm very low maintenance, but I would like, you know, a little something once in a while. Um, so I hope everyone else had um, as good a day as I did. So now I'm going to show you guys what I sold. Everything that you're going to see from this weekend, I spent a total of $15 on, and I'll tell you what the total is um, that I made at the end of this video. Um, it's still a little slow in the store. I did get a lot of work done yesterday, um, trying to get things up, but it's still a little slow. Um, hoping that changes over the next few weeks. But first up is this Who's Grand Adventure Special Edition DVD. I got this for, I believe, a dollar and sold it for $14.99. Uh, all of these, by the way, have free shipping, so I don't have to keep saying it over and over again. So I sold this for $14.99. That'll go first class. If you can find this new and sealed, I sold a new and sealed one uh, a few months ago for $40. So keep an eye out for that. Then I went to a rummage sale in the fall and didn't put these up until now because my daughter wanted to read some of the ones that she didn't have in her collection yet. But these are big Nate books. They're comic book style. They call them like graphic novels. Some look completely like comic books and others look like this. Anyway, they're very, very popular. There are three hard covers and six soft covers here. I found these at a rummage sale for, I believe, 50 cents a piece, I think. I don't know, they caught, the whole stack cost me, I think, $5, $5.50, something like that. Um, and I sold them for $29.99 and they will go media mail. All right, next up is this little top of the world photo or postcard folio 
This is about 100 years old. This is from Colorado. I got this from one of the first rummage sales of the season, probably about a month ago. I paid about a dollar for it. Only sold it for um, $7.99, but that's okay. And that'll go first class. Then I sold this little Texas Instruments um, BA2 Executive Business Analyst Calculator. Paid 50 cents for it and sold it for $12.99. <clears throat> that was from a rummage sale two weeks ago. Yeah. And then this was from that same sale. This is a Rio Volt um, portable CD player. Paid 50 cents for this. Sold this for $24.99. Then from that same yard sale again. This is one of the many Fitz and Floyd pieces I got from that sale that I showed you guys. This is the Pilgrim's Progress, that's the name of the pattern line, um, turkey napkin holder. I could only find one, unfortunately, but this one by itself sold for $14.50, and this will go first class. And then the other Fitz and Floyd piece that sold from that sale was this one, which I knew would go pretty quickly. This is from the Mayflower Mouse um, collection, and this cracker or tidbit tray is really hard to find. It does have damage here. The hand has been repaired. I paid, I paid 25 cents for this, if I didn't tell you guys. I paid, <coughs> sorry, 75 cents for this and sold this for $30. And then I sold this whole set of Tervis tumbler mugs. These are those double-walled insulated mugs. And they're pretty expensive if you buy them brand new in the store. There's four of these butterfly mugs. I bought them for $5 and sold them for $44.99. And then, last but not least, my best sale of the weekend was the Chanel bath powder, the Chanel number no. 22 bath powder, which um, I got at the sale after I went to the one where I got all this stuff. This was at the church yard sale, <clears throat> paid 50 cents for it and sold it last night for $79.99. And this will go um, in, believe it will fit in a flat rate padded envelope and go priority. So that is it. I paid, like I said, $15 and made, now this is before shipping and fees, um, 200 and, a little over 260 So not a bad return at all on my investment. And um, I did not go shopping this weekend on Mother's Day weekend because it was rainy and dreary and it was also Mother's Day so there wasn't even much really going on. Um, and I was behind from the week before because I had bought so much stuff. Um, in the next couple of videos, you're going to see all the stuff that I bought from the weekend before Mother's Day. I kind of held off on uploading those so you'd have something to watch since this weekend was a bust. So that is it, guys. Um, hope you all have a great week. Um, find some treasures. and Oh, I have to show you the envelope, too, that my husband got me that went with my card. This is beautiful. <laughs> I thought this was the card, but it's like this laser cut envelope and it's all glittery and it's gorgeous. So of course I went gaga over the envelope and my daughter's like, "Ugh, daddy said you would love that envelope. Daddy said you'd keep it forever. I'm like, well, daddy knows me well because I will. i got to find some way of repurposing this. But anyway, so thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.